today at Hatfield Hospital, which is part of the London Pain Clinic, with one of the doctors, Dr. Artham Singh. So what is pulsed radio frequency treatment and what is it used for? So uh, pulsed radio frequency treatment is particularly aimed at patients who are suffering from nerve related pain. Um, and that can be called neuropathic pain. Um, those symptoms that patients experience include a burning sensation, uh, a feeling of ting uh, tingling, maybe pins and needly type pain, and possibly like a, a shooting pain. And these can be experienced typically uh, in the body, pr most commonly in the legs, but also can be felt in the, uh, in the arms or in the hands. Um, pulsed radio frequency is something that we can use in conjunction with local anaesthetic and steroids, but uh, in, in most cases, uh, studies have shown that it can provide even longer uh, times of, of pain relief. So it is a treatment modality that we use quite commonly, uh, and, and it doesn't involve uh, too much extra work for the procedure, and hence we do tend to find it works significantly well in certain patients. How is pulsed radio frequency treatment performed? So uh, the treatment is quite similar to possibly like an epidural or a nerve root injection that a patient may well have had before. Um, in most cases, uh, there is, this is done under mild sedation uh, and in a theatre setting. Clearly, uh, we do make sure that there are no obvious contraindications to the insertion of a needle be it clotting problems or bleeding tendencies or any other contraindication. And if those are cleared and the anaesthetist is happy, we then perform this uh, with the patient lying normally uh, on a, on a theatre table um, and, and, and a probe literally is placed very close to the damaged nerve. Um, once that probe is placed to the damaged nerve and once we are happy with its location, that's normally by a process of imaging, uh, uh, be it with an image intensifier or ultrasound. We then um, make sure that um, we, we pass down this probe a, a degree of electricity. And it may well be felt as some pulses, maybe as a slight warming sensation and maybe even a tightness, but e maybe even as a tapping sensation when we do it. And, and, and we normally perform that for a number of minutes, maybe five minutes, maybe, maybe 10 minutes. But the essence of this treatment is aiming to, in a way, we hope, to sort of reset the nerve. The electricity tends to sort of change the way that nerve is functioning. And studies have shown that as a result of passing the electricity down these nerves, the amount of pain relief that one gets is prolonged. We normally top that up with a bit of local anaesthetic. Uh, and we normally uh, deliver some steroid as well. So um, in essence, it's very similar to doing a steroid injection or an epidural, but the, the probe itself is somewhat different to allow the passage of the electricity. Um, after that, we then re uh, remove the needle and we make sure that we monitor the patient in recovery area, just to make sure there's no complications. And then after that, the patient is normally discharged the same day. And um, what are the side effects of pulsed radio frequency uh, treatment? Um, so the side effects are pretty much very similar to uh, the insertion of any, any needle into the body. We have to mention that there's a risk of infection, there's a risk of bleeding, uh, there is a risk of bruising, of course, uh, and there is a risk of a slight irritation of the nerve uh, at the time of the procedure. So normally we say to our patients that there may well be uh, an aggravation of their pain for a couple of days afterwards. Um, apart from that, um, those are the sort of more simpler sort of side effects. We do have to mention that, of course, there is a potential uh, risk of nerve damage, but this is the case for any procedure that is involving the nerves. The, uh, but this risk is extremely low, and being done under ultrasound or under image guidance, we make sure that those are kept down to a really minimal level. But apart from that, um, there are quite good results. And in essence, sometimes these procedures may need to be repeated. 
uh, one uh, maybe a few weeks apart, particularly if there has been some improvement but the length of time of improvement is quite short. Sometimes by doing it again, we get greater benefits. Thank you. So if you would like any more information about the London Pain Clinic or you would like to book an appointment, please visit the website on www.londonpainclinic.com.